Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. I've still got a bunch of these Williams engines. Now, I wish these were all powered, but they are not. Most of these are in fact dummies. This might be the first time they've been out of the box. One or two of them look like they had some runtime on them, but the rest are practically brand new. Now, besides dummies, there's also a powered Amtrak SD45 and a powered Rio Grande Trainmaster. The Trainmaster has the silver side frames for the trucks, and one or two of them are broken or heavily distorted. So it runs, but it's not in perfect condition. Also, three of the dummies have trucks that are to a degree disintegrating, falling apart, crumbling. Uh, the rest of them, all these on the outer loop behind me, are nice and sturdy, not deformed, looking good, and nice and strong. So any of these should make a pretty cool addition to your collection. This Delaware and Hudson U33 was just opened. I wanted to make sure that the truck side frames were good, and it is, so pretty much brand new. It's a good looking engine. Really wish it was powered. Of course, if it was powered, I'd probably want to keep it. Another U33 is this Union Pacific 2428. Now this, I believe, did have some runtime on it. The wheels were marginally dirty, but it looks fine. Again, pretty cool looking engine. Northern Pacific U33. I've actually got two of these. Both pretty much brand new out of the box. Unfortunately, both dummies again, because a powered one would look pretty amazing. Definitely a cool engine. Not sure what you would do with two dummies of the same engine, but whatever. Now, I know I said I want to keep the Delaware and Hudson if it was powered, but just based on colors, I think this Milwaukee Road one is pretty amazing looking. I do have a Rio Grande Trainmaster dummy, uh, but all the side frames are broken off on that. Um, so if you're interested in a Rio Grande Trainmaster dummy with no side frames on the trucks, let me know, it's gonna go cheap. Now I've only got one of these. It's a Virginian ELC, and it is also a pretty cool looking engine. Some nice small detail parts on there. A nice flat black paint finish. It's very cool. Another one I'd probably want to keep if it was powered. <laughs> it's a good thing these are all dummies. Otherwise, I'd be wanting to keep them all. There are three SD45s. This one's a Burlington. Also have a Union Pacific and an Amtrak unit. There are three Dash 8s, a Conrail, a Burlington Northern, Santa Fe, and this very cool looking Amtrak Dash 8. Now these next three engines have suffered from poor casting quality for the side frames on the trucks. This Santa Fe Trainmaster, you can see one of the side frames is broken off and one of the other ones is loose. Unfortunately, you can't glue them because what's happening is the metal is deteriorating when it's ink test or whatever they want to call it. It's just unfortunate. And if you want to talk about unfortunate, this Rio Grande unit's only got one left. Again, everything else is like new condition, but these side frames just weren't made well. It's a real shame. This would otherwise be a very good looking engine. It's another U33 for chassis system. Now the side frames on this one are mostly still there, but they're disintegrating. You can kind of see at the back here, pieces are just breaking off. Same thing on the other truck, just they're fragile and they weren't cast well. And if you apply any pressure, they crumble. But again, the rest of the thing is practically brand new. This is a powered Rio Grande Trainmaster, but unfortunately, again, the side frames are not in the best condition. You see how that's uh, coming off right there? And you might be able to see how this isn't straight. It's kind of warped in. They get deformed and end up breaking. Uh, so if you're looking at some of these Williams engines to purchase yourself elsewhere, always get a good look at the side frames on the trucks. Look for any sort of deformation of these. They should be nice and blade straight. If they're not, they're probably suffering from the same zinc pest and will break. Other than the crummy side frames, this runs pretty nice. I've considered 
taking the motors out of this and putting them in one of these other engines, one of the dummies, I think it would be really easy. I'm actually interested to try that and see how it goes because I'd rather sell something that is intact and works well. So maybe I'll do that. There are a couple engines I wouldn't mind seeing powered. I thought about the ELC, that's kind of a pretty nice engine. I thought about uh, the Conrail Dash 8. Or the Amtrak Dash 8, it's a pretty neat looking engine. There is a powered Amtrak SD45, and it's, again, in very nice condition. Uh, it does not have a horn in it. Uh, it was removed because it would just stay on constantly. As soon as you gave it power, it would start groaning. So that has been removed. And otherwise, the engine works perfectly. There's a little bit of dust on it, and it looks like the front railing got a little mangled. Uh, I'm wondering if I could swap that off the dummy unit. But it's a, it's a good looking engine, and it runs real nice. Maybe you're not looking for another dummy engine. Well, how about a powered dummy set? I've got a few Alco PA sets. The Canadian Pacific, the New Haven, and the Union Pacific. I'm fairly certain I have run those in videos, probably also originally in the Williams video that I did uh, for all these. I'll link to that original video in the description. And then the last powered and dummy set is a Conrail EP5. These four sets are in great condition. They've been run, but not much. And I have taken them out to run them, to check them, to add a little bit of oil, and to make sure that they were all in good shape. And all the side frames are okay. The only odd thing I found was the Union Pacific engines. Uh, both shells have the same number on them. So I don't know if that was shipped that way instead of having two different numbers. Um, obviously a mistake, but I don't know if it was a replacement shell or what the deal was, but they're both 978. I don't know, a little weird. If you're interested in any of these items and you wanna make an offer or just ask a couple questions, send me an email, dagriffinhobby at gmail.com. I don't wanna discuss uh, sales in the comments. Um, feel free to comment just on the video or the engines if you feel like uh, discussing those, but any inquiries let's uh keep those to email if you don't mind it's just easier to keep track of too again that's da griffin hobby at gmail.com all these pieces come in the original box and the original mailing box you can see here box original mailing box the only thing that does not have an original mailing box are the canadian pacific alco pas and the conrail ep5s but those will be packaged in uh another box anyway. All these that have the original shipping box, that's how I'll ship them, uh, unless you'd like it to be uh, super protected in another box, uh, which of course will make the shipping go up. I do try to be very fair on the shipping and uh, base it off uh, an estimate from the Postal Service website. So I, I don't try to gouge on that. It's, you know, things are expensive enough, you know? If you're interested in anything, let me know. Send me an email at dagriffinhobby at gmail.com. And I, the pricing is all very fair. Uh, at this point, I need them out of here. They're taking up a, a whole lot of real estate in my train room. Let's get a closer look at some of these.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.